Yo, it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk. Welcome back, guys. Thanks for tuning in. What if I told you you could get 5,600 spotting on Siegfried Line? Siegfried Line. What if I told you that? Well, clearly, I'm going to show you how to do that. But you need a couple things. First thing you need is the right spot. I'll show you that. Second thing you need is Monty the Manicord. Look at that handsome beast. Worst tank in the game, right? Monty the Manicord. Look at that grinning guy. He's ready for his close-up. Can't do it because I don't have the right camera thing. But anyway, <laughs> here we go. Monty the Manticore. How do we do this? How do we do this? Well, we use the right bush. We got to go to the right bush. Get a little late start. I was actually out of the room when I came back in and noticed I was on this map and realized I wanted to go to the spot I wanted to go to, which I get a little bit of a late start, and that can be dangerous. Now, this spot is an aggressive spotting bush, and if there is another aggressive light tank, you can have trouble. The way you can have trouble is if they show up along this ridge or over here by the pillbox or they surf along there or they simply just come up through this area right here through the middle. It's pretty easy to get spotted. But when I looked at this, I said, well, what do, what do they have? Patton, Sheridan. They do have a Sheridan. That's pretty big for a light tank. And that's about it. So the only other light tank is a Sheridan, which does have good view range but is does not have good camo. So I should spot him well early. And I'm just going to go ahead and jump into this bush. And what this does is allows me to light guys like this guy. And that guy. And the Sheridan moving across. And the Sheridan takes 608. And we're off to the races. Those guys have no idea. The T-54E1 gets lit. He gets shot. The enemy mediums love to go to that spot because they're looking for spots from guys like the Sheridan. Now we've got a Patton moving around out in the flats. He takes a hit. And that's what this spot counters. And it counters those moves without being up against... It counters that those moves without being up against that ridge and getting proxy lit by those two and then subsequently shot by all the guys up there on the hills, which that's what they're waiting for. They want to take shots on you while you're down there or potentially on guys behind you that are being spotted. And it looks like the E-50 did take a hit because he's kind of out in the open. But I am spotting them as they come up and over. And the Sheridan is going to want to try to get into this bush, and he simply cannot. The Patton doesn't have the camo to do it. Now, whether the Sheridan actually is able to do it or not, we'll have to watch. But if he's be so big and fat, if he's not careful, he's going to get seen. Now, look at this. The, the, pan, the Patton gets seen. He gets tracked. Takes another hit. Gets tracked again. He's in big trouble if people can keep on hitting him. The Sheridan is seen again. Every time he pokes up, it looks like I see him. The 48... Patton takes a hit, and we're up to 3,514 damage. Shaved off the enemy team. For what from us? It looks like the E-50 took one hit early on, and the Progetto has been able to avoid taking hits. Now, I'm going to use spots like this for as long as it works out. What I'm looking for is the opportunity with my light tank to take advantage of weak tanks and grab some map control. So I'm interested in what's going on with the Sheridan and the Patton. And I'm kind of watching what their hit points are. I still can't go in there because the Sheridan's on really good hit points. Not really good, but compared to me quite a bit. And with the Patton and the Sheridan, two guns is going to mean I can't really get in there. So what I'm looking for is to get a few more hits on these guys. Oh, look at that. The Sheridan got spotted by me and died. Every time he came up, he just could not get into that bush without being seen. So we had all kinds of shots going back at the Centurion 5-1. And I am just waiting for an opportunity to take out this pattern. But I need to know what his hit points are first. So I'm thinking about it right now. I need to, next time I see him, I need to look over there and see if I can tell what his hit points are. That'll be obvious if he gets spotted. There are mods out there that show that. There he is. All right, so that's not really quite yet where I want to go after him. With 700 hit points, that's going to take me two hits to take him down. Low rolls, now I've got him. Now I've definitely got him. And now I've absolutely got him. He's got 34 hit points. And the E-50 also is aware of that situation. And he goes too. So good on him. Both of us are going to push in. He comes up and sees me, unfortunately. And then I take a hit from the Centurion 5-1 who snaps me from all the way across there. I'll just come up and over and I'll just use this low ground right here. I actually go towards the Centurion just to kind of get myself underneath this little rise. Now I'm going to turn around and go the other way. The E-50 is clearly seen. I'm assuming it's the Centurion and potentially the 
yeah, the rest of the mediums that are up there. So they don't see me, and there goes the Centurion 5-1 crossing. Bad shot on my, on my part. I needed to be shooting, and I'm firing HE for some reason. I needed to be shooting at the, uh, or at lead fire on that guy. I'll spit it out here in a minute. And I've got the HE loaded because I think I tried to fix the gun and obviously double clutched it right there. Yeah, I went 4-3. I've got a large kit on, and the habit is 4-3, which is repair kit, 3 is gun. I hit 4-3. It was repaired with just the 4, and unfortunately, I hit the 3, which gave me HE. So I'm going to miss that. When do I notice? There, I've noticed it. That's one of the big weaknesses right along there of the mana core is that the elevation is absolutely atrocious, so you've got to be careful. You'll notice... I'm going to show you. Yeah, I do... I, I actually get on this little ridge right here, which allows me to not need very much gun elevation. I actually need depression on the way the way I'm sitting here on this hill, which works out because it's got good depression. It just has nothing in elevation. A little bit of an issue hitting these guys right here. He dies. And we are now folding around. I've got the Progetto and the E50 for fire support. I'm going to come up a little bit high right here and see if I can find these guys. There we go. So we got an artillery. I'm going to come down low just to minimize my exposure. So instead of sitting there and trying to take shots, I'm just going to go ahead and come on in on this dude. We we'll get a shot right here. Blap him. VTU is looking to take a shot on me. I've also got the 50B right there. Do need to watch the 50B, but he's not looking at me. He seems to be shooting the other way. So I'll just accept maybe getting hit by the VTU and we'll kill this guy off. Yep. As I suspected, I do get hit by the VTU. That's fine. Now I'm getting all kinds of spotting damage. The VTU gets punched in the face. And now I'm just going to go at him because he's backed off of that hill a little bit. Give it one more rock here, and then we'll move in. Just to make sure he hasn't sold out and isn't coming up and over just to get that one last shot on me. We'll come over here, and now we're just looking to spot their guys that are hanging out in the back. The 50B is back here. There's that guy. Sorry, 30B. I keep saying 50, don't I? It's a 30B, not a 50B. Quite a difference, actually. One's a heavy auto loader, the other is a medium. <laughs> the VTU is hanging out. Try to get a shot on him. Boom! Take him down. We're up to 1500 damage, 5592 on the assist. And now I'm just looking to get some more spotting in here. I was going to head down or up to the north, but decided just to spin around. We'll just come at this 30B. I can soak up one shot from him. That's fine. I bounce, unfortunately. Going to go by him. He's actually looking that way. He just basically went after the guys who are, were going to have shots on him first. Down he goes. And I'm thinking, all right, well, there's got to be... Oh, there we go. That guy died. How'd that guy die? I have no idea how that guy did. He drown himself or someone kill him? Unknown. 1,538 damage, 5,674. And what you might not consider really a spotting map. And there are several maps in the game where, with given the right situation, there are some bushes like that. And if the enemy's dopey enough, in which case this t team enemy team was just dopey enough. But it was a good way to control the north part of the field without selling out and going down where I was going to get proxy lit, artied, if there was already, which I don't think, yeah, there was already, artied and shot in the side and all that kind of thing. I knew I could control it from there. I could probably see a bunch of their guys trying to post up here in the southwest corner of the town. And that really is, there's actually a corresponding bush on the south side that can do much the same thing. It's not quite as nice because you don't get as many guys in the north stacking up on this corner, although they do happen. In the south, from the north spawn, the south spawn will stack up right there quite a bit and that bush can spot them really nicely. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Hopefully that's useful to you at some point in the future. If you like what you saw and you learned something, please give me a subscribe. If you like to support the channel, there's a lot of options down in the description. That's all I've got for today, and we will see ya.